Hello my crafty friends. Today I'm sharing a card using a whole bunch of Karen Berniston's new release and don't fall over it's an A2 card. I haven't been making very many A2 cards in the last little while but the snowflake pattern plate which is new is designed to fit on an A2 card and while I've used it on larger cards I did want to show you that it fits absolutely perfectly on the front of an A2 card. So I die cut my snowflake pattern plate from white cardstock and added the colors with just dye inks and my Tailored Expressions blending brushes. And then I gave it a spritz from a shimmer mist. I have a bottle of shimmer mist now and everything is getting a spritz. I added some glitter dots from Elizabeth Craft Designs, but before that, sorry, I adhered it to a I don't know, can you tell in the video that it's a white pearl cardstock? So there's lots of very subtle shimmer from the pearl cardstock and the shimmer mist spray. Then I added the glitter dots from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Now this frame is from the new Slim Frames die set and I wanted to, to show you a different way to use them because most people see frames and think of putting an image or pattern paper or there, I mean there's all kinds of things you can put in a frame but I use my frames to highlight the sentiments and so I just wanted to give you another way to use these kind of, of dies. It cuts this frame which is very reminiscent of the frame in the new or I guess in the last release the flip frame pop-up and I love that frame. So this is another nice option and these slim frames work really well on slimline cards which was kind of her thought process. Both snowflakes come from the new holiday charms and the sentiment I don't know if I mentioned is from Lawn Fawn. It is their Merry Messages. It's a stamp set I picked up a couple of years ago and I use it a lot. I did make it a pop-up So you can see all the dimension. So this pop-up is part of Karen Berniston's new mini pops. It comes with a set of, of pop-ups that work in slimline cards. So we're really excited about that. The design team was, was thrilled. But I also wanted to show you that they work in an A2 card. Now generally a pop-up like this requires an inner card and a backing card. But because this blue, it's a very lightweight, it's just paper. It's like text weight paper. There's no way it would have supported a pop-up. So I went ahead and die cut a rectangle from the crosshatch rectangles and then added my mini pops die and ran that through my machine. So then gluing that inside the card gives me my pop-up without needing an extra backing card as well. Here's another one of those sweet little frames from the slim frames with another sentiment inside. And again the snowflakes are from the new holiday charms as is this pretty bow which I cut several times and snipped it apart to make a spray. And then I wanted to bring in some more purple so this little snowflake is from the sleigh pop-up and I use this snowflake a fair bit. We have another frame as a signing block and I added it to a stitched rectangle as a as a mat to kind of separate it from the background paper. I felt like it needed another pop of something so I got out the winter animals and cut the penguin which comes also with the scarf and the toque and then I added little glasses from tiny accessories. So it was a fun card to make. It still folds flat and should mail for a single stamp. I will see if I end up including a letter with it. I'll add a second stamp to it. And my stamp from Riley and Company on the back. I'm impressed with how well the pearlized paper took the, the regular dye ink. So lots of shimmer and shine. I'm very happy with this card. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more of my interactive cards. And that's it for me today.